For the longest time, I was kind of iffy on whether or not I should get a deck. I, I just didn't think I'd need it. I mean, I mean, I could play these games at my PC, and if I want to play in the tub, I could just stream my PC games using my phone and an attachable controller, right? I just felt like it wouldn't really get used. It seemed kind of super, su superfluous, superfluous, whatever that means. But that was old me, and old me was an idiot. This is new tech dweeb you're talking to. And new tech dweeb freaking loves this Steam Deck. It's not just something I like using to game on. It has become my favorite way to play PC games. Which is nuts to me because I've been a PC gamer for most of my life and the idea that I'd be happier playing games on lower settings on a small screen in my lap compared to my big ass ultra wide monitor on my beastly battle station is not what I expected to happen. But it did and I'm glad it did because the deck has made me fall in love with PC gaming all over again. But really, when it comes down to it, it's all about the games themselves. I've been thinking about why gaming on the deck is so different than gaming on a PC, apart from the obvious size and controller differences, and of course getting high off huffing the vent fumes, if you know you know. There's something about the deck that makes me want to grab it and game, and the, the types of games that I play on it are pretty different than the types of games that I play on any other gaming PC. I've been noodling this for a while and I, I came up with the idea for this video. A video where I show you a few games that I like to play on the deck and I chose these specifically because each one represents something unique about gaming on the deck. Some specific aspect of deck gaming that I think sets the experience apart from gaming on any other device. I'm playing these on my limited edition OLED deck and I'm running the games off this. The new Lexar Play 1TB 2230 NVMe SSD. This thing is perfect for a drop-in upgrade to your deck or your ROG Ally or any handheld gaming PC really. I made a video showing you how to upgrade your deck with this bad boy and Lexar sponsored this video and I'll tell you more about this drive at the end of the video but for now let's quit mucking about and get into the gunk. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, this this is the gunk. It doesn't seem like my kind of game, but I got it as part of a humble bundle, so I installed it on the deck because I figured it was worth at least trying, and I'm freaking loving it. The idea with this one is that you're a, a space explorer lady, and you land on this planet because you're scavenging for resources, and you discover that the planet is full of life. However, there is this sort of mysterious stuff that has infected the planet and is suppressing the living stuff. It's like glowing poison alien snot. You call it the gunk, and the gameplay involves sucking up the gunk to heal the planet and uncover its mysteries. Lots of exploration, lots of puzzle solving. Uh, what I like about this game and why I chose it for this list is because the deck is great for trying games. It is a gaming backlog machine. You can install a whole bunch of them on the deck and give them a first try whenever the whim takes you, wherever you are. That's what happened with me and the gunk. It's a game I never would have tried if I didn't have a deck, and I just tried it one day as I was browsing through my library and I discovered a great game that I want to play through. One of the best parts of having a deck right there. Uh, here we have Death Must Die. <laughs> this is my current brain candy game. It's so freaking addictive. It's sort of a mixture of vampire survivors and Hades. The core gameplay is super simple. You walk around the map and you can attack in different directions and you can dash to reposition yourself or get out of danger and you kill stuff and then you collect the experience and when you level up a spirit appears and offers you some abilities that you can choose between. Each one is very different and you can combine them in different ways to experiment with different builds. As you play there's a timer and at certain times some stuff will happen. There might be a swarm of slimes or a boss. Eventually the waves of enemies get really tough and you'll die but the loot that you collect will stay with you and you might unlock new abilities for your character that persist so there's sort of a meta progression and there are several characters that you can unlock and choose from each with their own strengths and special skills the gameplay is super simple but that's why i chose it to show to you 
This sort of game plays amazing on the deck. These quick, addictive indie games where you can just turn your brain off and play on the couch while watching Netflix or whatever. The Steam store is overflowing with games just like this. But I can't stop playing Death Must Die. I'm hooked on this one right now. And here we have a game that I bought day one directly from Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I played the snot out of it for a really long time and then I stopped playing and then it came out on Steam and I rebought it with all the expansions because buying games multiple times is all I can think of doing with my YouTube buddy. So I'm finally finishing up the main story and then I'm going to go through the expansions. It's an amazing game if you like the Assassin's Creed games like I do. Or if you just like open world exploration games with a ton of stuff to do like I do. I know the Assassin's Creed series gets lots of hate, lots of people are bored with the formula, but I'm not one of them. It's one of my favorite series and I'm also a big Viking dork, so this game gets me on multiple levels. The reason that I included it in this list is because it's a huge, beautiful, graphical showcase game and yet here it is running on the Steam Deck and it looks amazing. Games like this are a testament to the real power of the deck. I'm running this with a mixture of low and medium settings and considering how great the game looks, it's running absolutely beautifully on the deck. A AAA gaming experience in the palms of your hands. And there are a ton of games like this that run great on the deck. It still blows my mind that we're running big impressive open world games like this on a $400 handheld device. This game needs no introduction, but I'll give you one anyways because it's my job. It's Bioshock Infinite. I freaking love the Bioshock series. Well, we really need a new Bioshock game. It's kind of sad that we haven't had a new one in a long time. This one is the Sky one. It's a story where there's a flying city in the clouds and it's it seems like paradise at first but then you discover that it's all dark and weird. It's a freaking gorgeous game too, even by today's standards. And anyways, I'm showing you this game because I'm replaying it and also because it represents a type of game that are ideal for the Steam Deck. Older games. These games were graphically impressive and demanding when they were released, but now they run on almost any computer. The reason that I love them on the deck is that they can run at a very low TDP, meaning the deck will run cool and quiet and have amazing battery life. This game can run at like 7 watts and you'll still get high FPS at like medium settings. And these games are even better on the OLED deck, even more than the regular deck because on the OLED deck we have a 90Hz screen. Most modern 3D games won't run at 90Hz, but these older games will have no problem running at that refresh rate. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier. The Steam Deck is the device to tackle that gaming backlog. If there are some really great games that you missed out on back then, then just play them now on the deck. They'll run beautifully, control beautifully, and they'll look amazing. I recently finished Ori in the Blind Forest and I just started Ori in the Will of the Wisps. So both of these games are kind of one long game in my mind. I think most people know about this game, but if you're not familiar, the short version is that it's a Metroidvania side-scroller platform type game. Which means that there is an emphasis on exploration, collecting items, upgrades, and backtracking to previously explored areas that you're able to conquer with your new abilities. It is a gorgeous game, as you can see. This game looks amazing on any display, but it's absolutely breathtaking on the OLED Steam Deck. The regular Steam Deck too, I played this there, but on the OLED deck this game just glows. The blacks are pure dark inky black and the bright colors pop off the screen. When you have a deck, and especially an OLED deck, you're always on the hunt for those games that shine on the deck's display. And this is the best example that I could think of. Every OLED deck user needs to try this game at least once because it's a feast for the eyeballs. And here's a game that I'm really interested in getting deeper into. This is Prey. I'm only a few hours in, but it seems really up my alley and super interesting. Very story focused. It almost has like Half-Life 2 vibes to it. The idea here is that you are a, a guy aboard a space station orbiting the moon and you are uncovering the mystery of what the heck happened and why everyone's dead and what's up with these super creepy aliens that can transform into mundane everyday objects. There are puzzles to solve, exploring, reading the lore of the world, problem solving, and lots of jump scares with these mimic alien things. The reason that I'm putting it in this list is because it represents an amazing thing that we get here on the deck. 
super cheap games. This game was just 250 USDs the other day. And every single day, us PC gamers get scads and scads of amazing games at ridiculously low prices. Steam sales, bundles, other storefronts like Humble. If you keep an eye out for deals, you can fill your Steam library with amazing games and the vast majority of them will play great on the deck. This is one of the best parts about being a PC gamer, and the deck is the console that represents this. For a few bucks, giving a game like Prey to try out on your deck is a crazy deal. And if you don't like the game, then who the heck cares? It was $2.50. I went to a cottage with my family on Family Day weekend, which is a Canadian holiday weekend where we spend time with our family, obviously. I brought the RP4 Pro to play with and also the Steam Deck. And we actually ended up playing a ton of games on the deck. I had it hooked up to the TV and every single night we played Jackbox. And we played some retro games through Emu Deck. And another game that we played a bunch was this game. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. This game freaking rocks. It's a good old classic arcade style beat em up game with great action, great controls, really, really great pixel art and animation, and really good multiplayer features. This game represents an aspect of the deck that I love. Anytime you have the deck with you, you have an easy way to get your games on the TV and an easy way to get your friends and family playing games with you. Very often when I'm going somewhere, I'll bring the deck with me even if I have no intention to gaming on it just in case the time is right and I can save the day by being like, hey, check this out and shove controllers in their hands and suddenly we're all playing Ninja Turtles. And th that's it. That's the games I wanted to show you. Games that represent a reason why gaming on the deck is a special thing. I could go on and on about the games that I play on this thing, but that would really just end up being a video of my current favorite PC games. And I, I might make that video at some point soon if you want me to. Let me know in the comments below. But before we wrap up, I want to tell you about this drive. The new Lexar Play NVMe drive. This thing is in the M.2 2230 form factor, so it's perfect for devices like the deck or the ROG Ally. It uses a PC PCIe Gen 4x4 connection, and it's rated for a max sequential read of up to 5200 megabytes per second and writes of 4700 megabytes per second, which means that your games load fast. And 95% of people say that fast is good. If you'd like to get one of these to use as an external drive or an internal drive or as an upgrade for your Steam Deck or to keep in your shirt pocket for NVMe emergencies like a true tech dweeb, I'll include a link to this in the description below. And thank you Lexar for sponsoring the video. And now I want to hear from you. What is your favorite game to play on the deck and what makes playing that game on the deck a unique experience? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you down there. If you like this video, then check out this video, my review of this beautiful limited edition OLED deck. There's a link on the screen right now and down in the description below. And that's it for me. I'm TechDweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.